Absolutely. And so when I look at all the things that I have been able to achieve in the past, it has always been in collaboration with others and an important partner is civil society. If you take, for instance, the work that um, I've been engaged with on domestic violence, it took government, local government, third sector, which of course, as you know, includes civil society, business, philanthropists and individuals who wanted to change to bring this about. It will take all of us and if we try to craft solutions which do not engage civil society, I think regrettably we'd be doomed to fail. So I'm really excited by the way in which civil society is totally engaged with the Commonwealth and I hope we'll enhance that. Well, I certainly hope that we will do much more to guarantee and, and support equality for all our citizens. But more than 50% of the Commonwealth, which is 33% of the world's population, is female. And we know that young people by 2030 will represent 60% of our population under the age of 30 within the Commonwealth. That's a huge challenge. So we have to address, if we truly believe in equality, the rights of women, the opportunities for young people. And I hope I may be the first Secretary General who's a woman, but I certainly hope I won't be the last. And domestic violence, as I said yesterday, is going to be a critical component of my um, term. Domestic violence affects one in three women in our world. It is the greatest cause of morbidity in women and girls worldwide. It's a dreadful scourge. And if we could eradicate it, if we could reduce it by 64%, as we did in the UK, in every single country in the Commonwealth, just think about what our world would look like. So I am ready to fight for that. I hope every citizen in the community, in the Commonwealth, will be willing to fight with me.